Hey, welcome back, guys. So we have a shopping cart of sort, and I want us to see how we can display that shopping cart data that we have. But first of all, actually, I don't need to log in for this, so we are good to go. Yeah. So what I want here is these. Um, if I go to shop, there's a cart right there, and also there's a cart button there. But of course, looking at our MVC system, if we click on cart, we will see nothing. So I will go to the original page. I have it somewhere here. <coughs> Where is that? Uh, I can't find it. Okay, there we go. So the cart.php or HTML page, which looks something like this. So we want to turn that data we have into this view. Okay, so you know the drill. We have to go to create a controller first. So let's come to app. Let's go to controllers. And let's go to the, let's try, uh, you know, because we're going to be reading uh, information about, about, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, about our product. So let's copy shop.php and let's create a new file in controllers paste that click save and save this one as cart.php very nice so shop <clears throat> let me change both of those to cart all right uh, very good and then we change the view down here instead of shop to cart yeah <clears throat> and that's that actually does it mm -hmm. does it not now all we need to go to do is go to views eShop and let's find the cart.html which is right here so I'm going to copy everything in here close that right in the eShop folder create a new file save it as cart.php yes oh did i do it right okay so now if i did everything correctly i will still see this kind of page so let me close this html version but i want to refresh my cart here by clicking here cart and then of course I see uh, this. So everything is working fine, except of course we didn't include our header. And this is why we are having these problems. So I will go to the index.php just so I can copy the header. Come back to cart.view, the one with the views. So I need to know the content. Why did I remove? it's good to have reference so let me open the html version again so that i can know exactly what to remove so we're not going to be uh, adding data for all this so i will leave this be we'll see what we can use here and what we cannot but clearly where i need to start from is where it says item so all these uh I have no idea what this is. 24 December, let me see that. Where is that? Wait, did I get the right page? Doesn't seem like. But anyway, let's do this. Let me remove the header. I know where the header ends, which is right there. I will, where it says card items and header, paste. And just with that, we're supposed to see something good. Oh, this is the wrong one here. Okay, so it's actually working. So this is correct. Uh -huh. Okay, so what we need to do now is leave just one item here because that's all we need. We can loop that item. So these are the cart items here. So table, cart menu okay cut product so this is the product name 
Borrow. So this is another product. So the key here is to find where everything repeats. Okay, because this is a table body. So we want to see where one row starts and another ends. So there's table row here. And so we want to see it ends there. So all the other rows are completely useless. So let's, that's a second row and a third row. So we'll delete all those and then we'll refresh and then we have one row like this okay now let's echo out the data that we have from our session right here okay so that we can see what we are working with now uh, we don't want to be getting session data directly we can get the data directly in the view here but like i said we need to leave all that logic stuff inside the controller we don't need to bring it down there so what I want to do is I will say if, uh, wait, 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 database, uh, to display, uh, oh, we will need to read from the database. So I'll leave that there and we'll need the image class. So everything is needed there. But what I want us to do is to send some data. So instead of sending rows, actually we will send some rows. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Okay, so what I will do here is let's leave everything as it is, but I want us to show the session uh, cart, okay? I want us to see what's inside there or if it exists at all. So as you can see, it does exist and it's got a few items in there, but there will be times when it doesn't exist so we should also know if it exists or not so here what i will do i will ask the question if if is that card like this then we will do what we are doing if it is not then we will set our uh, we'll create an empty array okay come back here so what I need you to pay attention here is the ID. So we're looking at the ID and then we have a quantity. So we have to be able to get the item details and then shove in the quantity as well. Okay. Because that should be part of it. Okay. So what I will do here is. Wait a minute. What I want to do here is to read all these IDs. So I'll, I'll get all these IDs and read them from the database. So I will use array column to get just the IDs from this array here, just the IDs. So to do that, I will come here and say IDs or product IDs is equal to, let's say prod IDs is equal to array column so the input is the array that we want to work with and it is this one and then but we do have to make sure it's an array but anyway i think it will be an array here so the column or the key that we want to get which is id okay so instead of showing uh, this, so let me set it at the top here. Say prod is equal to array. Let's set it to an empty array first. And then just in case it doesn't work out here, we'll still have it. So what I want to see is product IDs right next to this one. So I'll start with the IDs themselves and refresh the page again. So as you can see now, once I've done array column, I have gotten only the IDs into a separate array. So you see eight, seven, and 10, same here, eight, seven, and 10. So this is how you use array column. If I wanted to get just the quantities, I would do that in the same way. So I want to read from the database. So what I want to do is implode this, uh, this value here. So 
let me do this prod ids is equal to implode like this now implode is the opposite of the function explode so explode creates a string uh, converts a string into an array but implode converts an array into a string so i want to make a, str a string here so i can use it in my query so what i will do is the glue is what will separate the values when it is merged into a string so it's a comma that i want to put there okay so now i want the comma to be a separating thing but i also want the single quote to be part of it so i will put double quotes in the edges like this so this whole uh, part right here is part of the separator and then what are the pieces the pieces are in here so i will put the pieces there like this but i want at the end and the beginning to have a single quote as well so i will do this double quote double quote single quote in between and do the same thing here concatenate a single quote at the end so once i've done this you will see how the string will look like once i show it down here so let's come back here and let me refresh and now you see this is what i was going for so now i have this eight seven ten so i got this from this thing here so now i can use this for a query very easily so i will say something like my query is now of course it is a bad idea to use queries directly here it's better since you're using oop to actually shove those things into uh, uh, classes and do it that way but we can still do it here for now so i will say this is going to return the rows actually instead of that part there so rows is equal to read and then i'll say select all from products where id in and then i will put my brackets there like that and shove in this these ids there right over there okay so what this does is it tells it that um, any of the ids that are in here you can read from them so at this point i want us to see if we get any results back so let me paste this i will temporarily remove the session data here we just see what rows we get so refresh and as you can see lo and behold we actually get the data that we need from the database so as you can see these are products yeah okay so we have one two three products there which is very good okay so good going it means we have something to show here it's just that we are not sending the quantity as you can see here we have the id we have all this but we don't have the quantity so there is this quantity that is coming in from the database where uh what's this the quantity of the actual item how many are remaining in stock okay so we need to add one extra um column here that says cart quantity okay mm -hmm. so in order to do that we have to loop through these guys and then check if the id matches what we want uh, in the session data so let me undo this session data here for a second refresh mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do is loop through here so once we loop through here let's say we go through this one so here we're going to check what is the id of this one. Oh, the id is seven right then we go into the uh, this one right here so we have an array column of this thing here so actually it's better to preserve this array column right here so i would say ids i would change this to just ids then or oh, id underscore string i'll put an s there ids string which i will put there as well 
okay that way i have product ids still there in the array column okay so let me copy this and put that one here instead oh wait a minute let me put it down here like this show all of them bam we're back in business okay so once we loop through here we're going to check what id is this item we're looping through okay so the id is seven and then what do we do oh my battery is low unfortunately so i'm sorry but we have to continue in the next video i will see you then